Right, welcome to the first ever episode mm. of the Uncertain Saw Point. The first one. The inaugural one. The episode. number one. The number one. Number one. Uh, number one. Uh, yes. What? <laughs> We're in the illustrious setting yeah. of Uncertain Towers. Uncertain Towers, or, it is indeed. Or Uncertain Labs. Labs, I like Labs. Uncertain Labs I like today. Labs. Oh, okay. I, I, feel my, I feel my towers. Do you like, no, I feel my, this is your kingdom. kingdom. He gets to name it. This is your yes, my kingdom. kingdom. My king. I am the king. king. The king of your hill. Indeed. It isn't a hill. It's actually a very interesting building. It's, yeah. And maybe in a future episode. Oh, that'd be ace. Maybe we could have a tour. Oh. Well, yeah. Um, it's got a lot of history. So, you know, it's been a pottery. It's been all sorts. So yeah. it's it's... So to set cool. the scene, we are in the industrial heartland land of Stoke on Trent. We are, we are indeed. We are indeed. Batteries. So uh, being reclaimed, been reclaimed, and hopefully it's got a very bright future. I do, which which should be good. Hopefully, uh, first of all, so uh, introductions. I'm Bob Point um, of Bob Point Plays. Uh, uncertain Craig, obviously of Uncertain Scenery. There it is on the on the t-shirt. Oh, I like um, it's very sore. Yeah. I'm sorry. Not with a sore throat. Not with a sore throat. No, it isn't. It's throat sore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get across, get into that. <laughs> uh, as we don't know. Why we have uh, these various names. Indeed. Uh, there's certainly a history of Bob Point. Bob Point isn't my real name, uh, as, as some of you will know. Uh, but uh, yes, hopefully this will be uh, a sort of a, a general geek out uh, on video. Um, certainly from my point of view, uh, a lot of tabletop games. Uh, mainly at the moment, Mantic. I'm on a real Mantic mm. kick. Mm. Uh, as I know, uh, you. Mm. Yes, we are. We are at the moment. We are yeah, we're Mantic, Craig. aren't we? Uh, we are we're loving, we're giving big thumbs up to Mantic. Many games. thumbs. Big many thumbs. thumbs. As many as we can. Thumbs. I haven't got a thumb on my shoe, but there you go. I'm not putting my shoes on camera again. <laughs> They've been far too much. Do it again. Time. You've done that once. Do it. I've done that once. Uh, on uh, but there's lots of geek out as well. Films, books. The, where we are now, this is Craig's mm. business. Yes, it is. Uh, and mm. you can just see over uh, here where all the magic happens. The, machine. the laser machine. It's it is. A wood. It's like it's like voodoo or black it is. magic. It is. I. It's like a sci-fi. I think you put a small alien in there and do surgery <laughs> on it. That's what I think it's for. Because Craig the taps lasers. on the computer just over the other side of the camera, right. and stuff happens. Stuff. Here. It's amazing. It, it's not special. It Honestly. is. It's it is to me. It's a blinding <laughs> ray of light, it's right? Yeah, that cuts things. Oh, it's amazing. It is beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. I've seen the Terminator. I know it works. <laughs> That's the future. The future. The Skynet. It is. You're not linked to Skynet. Are you? Are you? Oh, no, not, no, 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 no. Not affiliated no, no, no. to I, you. I, I am on, on the cloud, but not in the cloud. You see, it's one step from the cloud to Skynet. Skynet. Well, one leap away from Skynet. Yeah. Okay. So I thought for the first uh, episode of uh, the Uncertain Sword Point, we'd have a bit of a gaming bio yes. about who, why we're here. Who we are. Who yes. these three strangers sitting in this strange going building to be disappointed. are. <laughs> what has brought... Yes, Ooh, please don't want that. They're, they're interesting. interesting. Really? They are. You're a foreigner. They are. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're not from around these no, parts. I'm not. <laughs> we're, we're, we're natives. So I haven't got the visa yet to be in Stoke-on-Trent. Yeah. It's true. So uh, it's a bit of a, we'll perhaps start with yourself. Oh uh, my goodness. Sore, yes, start over right, the Who am I? I'm throat sore. Yes. I, I had a sore throat and no, I thought no. I was thinking of starting a YouTube no, channel no. to uh, express my inner geek. And it was about two o'clock in the morning. Um, I think a tasty beverage had been invited wow. as well. I know, which is bad. I'm there. I'm, I'm it's, it's amazing, I'm isn't it? Yes. It's amazing. The and pictures. I, the, yes. the pictures. So I thought, you know, I, I had this. Um, I started filming. I think we literally started filming a, um, a game of Drop Zone Command that we were playing. We had, yeah, yeah. And I had this footage, and I thought, well, there's other people doing these cool things out there. Mine's not going to be as good, but I'm going to have a go. And I downloaded like a free um, app on my phone. Um, and see, so there's like a watermark in the corner because it's yes. free, and, they, and I put some bad music over it, and it went, and about 200 people watched it. So thank you for all of those people. That's that's amazing. So this is part of the community, and then as I did a bit more of it, people got in touch and gone, "Would you like to come and play a game here?" That's it. They're done. That's it. Success. At yeah. that point, when you when you're making like a community and and the community is communicating with each other, and you're going to get games that you wouldn't have got otherwise. And you've met people. So I've met people like Pezapu, like Steve Perry who does um, Dark Ops and Rubicon miniatures. Yes. 
it was, and he is Good knows so many people that you you know you, you get games everywhere and uh, you get support from him and um, uh, and you make other links like these guys here as well. It's yeah. an amazing so, thing, isn't it? Now. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, an yeah. amazing yeah. thing. Yeah. And the, the, I think I've mentioned this somewhere else before. How amazing the internet is! Yeah. The internet can be used for really totally. bad things. Yes, can't yeah. it? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Terrible, 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 terrible things that the we darkness. won't talk about. And then and then then there's this terrible thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
I would say, and a lot, it allowed a few systems to come in because it was very hard to get a wargaming system going for a couple of years, I think. Mm. But then, kind of more recently, you know, 10 years ago maybe now, it's, you know, time is going on, that a lot of newer um, firms and older firms resurged and a lot of new firms came along. And then events like Salute down in London started up and the, right. the conventions got bigger. And it is just amazing to go to them. So I've really enjoyed it. So I've kind of got a second wind yes. with wargaming now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I've, I think I've got I've got Age of Sigma Army somewhere, which I'm, um, I'm painting up at the moment. But, but my, my, my loves really are all the alternative stuff. And again, Mantic got me back into kind of fancy wargaming with an undead army, strangely. Uh, love it. Um, Kings love of it. Kings and what I love about them is they'll let me use any army yeah. I want, which meant I obviously bought Mantic because I wasn't feeling forced. I bought loads of Mantic models. There you go. That's the marketing strategy. It's that um, inclusivity. It's the inclusivity. Yeah. So I can. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like that model. I'll put that in my army, but I'll buy your models as well because they're there and, and you're not being... Well, yeah, you bought that um, Reaper Dragon. Ah, oh, right? Reaper are oh, a great firm. Yeah. Uh, Reaper, yeah. Reaper, Bones Reaper Bones is just um, immense because it's, it's cheap and it's... Yeah. And they're it's really good. detailed models. Yeah. It's, it's made me feel like the 80s where I go into a shop, buy a blister and get five models in it for like five quid again, mm. yeah. uh, which I love. I love that feeling. So yeah. So you're so, in your second wind then? Um, I, th I think I'm in my second wind. Your I second really age. Do. I never stopped, I, but I kind of transferred to role playing. Yeah. I did more of that, like like yeah. um, you did the big kind of uh, World of Darkness thing uh -huh. that happened in the late 90s, I guess. Is that the Masquerade? Mm -hmm. or masquerade, yes, masquerade, masquerade, masquerade yes, yeah. and... Started in started in ninety one and then uh, it carried on from there. Yeah, so. um, and then still play it. Yeah, the live game as well. Yeah. There was a live game that ran all over the country, and in fact, in America as well, called the Camarilla UK, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. We used to dress up in your suits so and get your lark games, thing. and lark yeah, games. sort of. But it was all um, you didn't used to hit each other. You used to play paper scissors stones with each other. There's a lot of good paper scissors stones players out there. <laughs> Watches there are. Watches. Not as good as my seven-year-old daughter. Oh, yes. it's amazing! Amazing! One down. Amazing. <laughs> amazing! And then a uh, bit of LARP as well with the actual with rubber swords yeah. having at each other in Lotto Park in Derby with the yeah. Lion Trust. So we did a lot of that for many years and tabletop as well. And then kind of got back into the war gaming with with Mantic. Yeah. Got me into it. And then I love sci-fi as well. So um, mm. uh, Drop Zone Commander do a lot of that for me now. Ten mil. Never played ten mil. That it's madness. I Once a geek, always a geek. Oh, exactly, yeah. exactly. And um, m more recently, I've been going into kind of dead zone for sci-fi as well. Yeah, so there yeah. you go. They're, they're yeah. my genres. Excellent. Yeah. So yeah. Um, okay. Well, me, I same same. Fantasy World was my place. I found everything. And I think one of my first box sets was the. Uh, remember the orcs with the halberds? Yeah. You bent yeah, over. Yeah. I, I think do, I, had, yeah. I, had, I had I had a box set of them. And play with my mates, and we do um, little fancy battles, but they were more skirmish based mm -hmm. on than the big what's it set piece games. Yeah. And then we go, I bought the, the 40k Rogue Trader book ah, yes. with the expansions. This is before um, the days that a double entendre was attached to every old yeah. piece of equipment. Um, <laughs> no, 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 it still was. Oh, was it there? Yeah, it's oh, still yeah. good to know. It's, good it's, to it's, know. it's been there since the beginning. Good, good. Um, uh, and yeah, so I had, I had those books, and I've still got. The uh, floor plans that they did for um, the dungeon floor plans. The then we've got the forty, the forty k and uh, Judge Dredd Judge ones. Dredd. He's got the, 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 they, I've got those. Still, still got those. Oh, they are. They, they still exist, Amazing. and they are have. They are a bit battered, but they still work. Yeah. Um. And I used to do um, when the first Space Hawk came out. In fact, I had one of the very first Terminators with the the back banner and the triple. Oh, what's it? Um, but again, um, I've. The more, it comes, the more YouTube it looks. Yes. Do we apologise for a little gap in the uh, 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 You didn't in the notice, did you? I'm sure you didn't notice, but somebody rang me and was filming on my phone. Oh. So the last 30 seconds of Craig's... Oh, uh, damn man, I don't remember where it was. The wisdom that was the coming wisdom. out there, you missed it. It's the up and down the road. Yeah, 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 it was. Like, yeah, up and down. My, my war gaming has been very hit and miss. Yeah. Uh, um, for, apart from the last, what, two years? Mm. Where this this man. I just of, go. I, yeah, so I, Craig, I, come and play this game. Yeah, okay. I, I go steady and strong. Um, yeah, he comes in fits and spurts. They're both useful in their own way. Well, they are. <laughs> so um, now I'm like say we're, we're doing the dead zone. We've done drop zone commander again. These indie indie systems. Indie systems. I'm um, and that's what that's what I'm concentrating on mostly. Yes. Um, there are some other ones I want to try. I do want to try Infinity. Um, because I've been talking to some of the guys on Facebook, but um, and this this has led to this essentially. Mm. Um, 
We're at all, of this. All, all of this. this. Oh, Waste Man we've been playing recently. Oh, Waste well. Man, Waste yes, Man. which is very funny. That's it. And then there's Robot. Is it Robot Rally as well I've been playing? That was good. That's good. It's yeah. kind of a weird robot-y chess game where you actually move the board as well yeah. as the yeah. robot. Yeah, really good. Those. Um, but um, I've been doing AutoCAD sort of, so CAD stuff for, for ages, um, for role-playing, doing maps and things like that. Mm. And, and I've done some um, scratch built uh, models, you know, using bits of 40k stuff or, or just bits of plastic yeah, and all sorts. Yeah. Um, I feel like, well, you know, why don't you do that? It's, it's a bad business. You can make a time out of maps. Uh, and I had a, had a, I went off sick from work for many reasons. Um, and then I decided to just start this business. It was just, it was just basically, I'd been to sleep one year when I was ill and I looked at a lot of the, the um, MDF stuff and I went, I'd do better than that. So this is, and I did say that then, I said, It'd be I'll, arrogant I'll, if it wasn't true. I, I, did, yeah, I, did, <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did go, I can do better than that. That's not very good. You don't need to blow your own trumpet. No. We're more we'll than happy blow, to We'll blow his for him. Yeah. Stop blowing my trumpet. We'll do it. <laughs> yes. we'll do it. Maybe okay. off camera. Off okay. Camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll perhaps get on to uncertain scenery. Yeah, 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 but that's yeah, the, yeah. More, this is what uh, led into this anyway. So, yeah, brilliant. Um, but yeah. other than that gaming, yeah, it's, it's, I'm actually doing a lot more war gaming than I've ever done. So we we had to go Conflict 47 as well, didn't we? Recently? That, that yeah. I need an army as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need an army, yeah. army for that, yeah. yeah. It's interesting just how the diversity and the amount <laughs> of different games that are out. I was talking about this last night, I had a game of Dreadball last night, which we'll come on to in a little bit. But I was talking to Keith from uh, the Stoke Club that 10 years ago, Games Workshop was the Leviathan, yeah. wasn't it, of the gaming There's industry? There's no other yeah, thing. Yeah. There was yeah, very, little, thing, was very there? little else right. out there. So you either played fantasy or you played 40k. Yeah. Or you played Napoleonic war games. Or you, <laughs> or you played historical. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then 10 years ago, well, nine years ago, I think Mantic came on the scene, yeah. didn't they? Um, Privateer yeah. Press, uh, yeah. probably about 10 yeah, years war, ago. War Machine. War Machine. And, yeah. war machine. And boards. Probably Fancy Flight, maybe. As fancy well. I played Flight started to come in with the pre-painted stuff like the X-Wing. Yeah. You've got weird games with Malifo. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, the confrontation was that one confrontation there. Confrontation with yeah. Rack and Rack. Yeah, but that struggled, didn't it? That that's is. interesting because they went under. And they were amazing. <laughs> I think we're back. Uh, I shall hopefully do a little bit of editing. Yes. There's a little yes. bit of magic. Well. This may appear, it may not. You two so for the win. What I'm saying now may never be seen. Ooh. So I'm saying Damn it. It's wow. Like it's Schrodinger's cat almost. Like, did it even exist? Did it exist? Three stages of Schrodinger's cat, you know. What's the third? Bloody furious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I think uh, what, uh, the bit I was talking about then, so 10 years ago, we only had games over. Yes. Now we've got an abundance of them. So, um, I can choose what I want now. It's, it's, it's weird, well, we it's, can. It's, it's into geek culture as well. Yeah. So I was just reading today a BBC article where they're talking about D&D &D and gaming and pubs is acceptable. Yeah. Ten so years ago, that wouldn't have happened. No, happen, no, it wouldn't have happened. They have a board game night now, don't they? Yeah. They, have, they have a karaoke and then have a board game night. Yeah. yeah. So it, 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 it is making uh, a resurgence. It is making a resurgence. There's, there's one, I suppose, caveat I would throw in that ten years ago, everybody either played Fantasy Battle yep. or 40k. Yep. So you'd find somebody really easily to play, wouldn't you? Either go to games yeah, you, yeah. You'd either go to uh, a games workshop store. And play or to a club or a convention or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a proliferation of games to play. So that pool, I don't know if the pool of gamers is any bigger. I think it's probably about the same, yeah. probably. May, so. Maybe some growth, I don't know. Yeah. But even so, uh, there's far more games yeah. for them to play. It would have, so yeah, there's a dilution, isn't there? The, number the of two people. firms, it would have to double yes. for the same amount of people. Yeah. So it hasn't gotten that much bigger, has it? I think so. I so don't, no. I mean, it, it, is, it is difficult to. You know, I see daily mm. people saying that, like, I've bought these models and I've had them for years, and then all of a sudden all my, my mates have not stopped playing it now. Um, yeah. So when you can't find anybody in the mm. area, this is mostly America, like, where they're obviously 300 miles apart. Mm. But. Um, but they'll drive that for a nice game. Oh, they yeah. certainly will. Well, we won't drive half, half an hour. Exactly. Half no, no, no. We, we've, we've driven um, Stockport, Stockport. For, for, for a game. Yeah. And these guys will go to will Kansas yeah, yeah, <laughs> for, yeah. for yeah. one game of it. It's brilliant. They, they are hardcore. Um, um, but, the, you know, but it is people around here. There's there's a guy saying they can't play Kings of War. We, uh, we set up a Stoke Kings of War. So nobody's been on it since, like, on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, okay, so where are you? Yeah. Like, it's up, like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of up to us to play it as well. It's up to people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you build it, they will come. Yeah. That's that whole yeah. yes. 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 But I think um, you know what? What GW did have was a shared. It's like playing music. 
it's like everyone tunes their guitars the yeah. same well not everyone but most people tune their guitars in the same way yeah, because you yeah. can sit down with me there's no reason for a guitar to be to, to, to was it every does good for Elvis I won't say the other yeah, way but yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know they've all yeah, trained to tune, my yeah with E to E but, but why <laughs> is that there's no actual legal moral reason for that the yeah. fact is that musicians want to communicate together yeah. and they sit down and they'll play with each other and I yeah. can sit down you can sit down we never met each other we can play a song together yeah. that's, that's cool like it's the same with wargaming yeah. You, you want that shared vocabulary. You do. You do. You, you don't right. Yeah. 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 I think that's probably why there's a lot, there's a proliferation at the moment of people, I think also we grew up and got jobs. Yeah. So we're only playing over the evening now, yeah. aren't we? Um, yeah. In amongst the kids we and we've got to go back. So I think the shared vocabulary and the time limitation, there's a lot of simple games out there now. Yeah. They, they, they actually tell you, this is a simple game, it's easy to learn, it's mm. not very complicated. And they tend to be the ones that are used to sell the game. That's, that's the Absolutely. idea of them. Yeah. And it could be also to increase the vocabulary yeah to say yeah. oh well, i can get into this quick that's a really interesting point i yeah. think yes that um i think all geeks have a similar similar vocabulary mm. don't they uh because we haven't known each other that long yeah no we've known each other over facebook well i've yeah. known this guy for many years yeah. unfortunately yeah. but <laughs> myself <laughs> exactly is this exactly. i know we've met before that's right, we, that's uh, right. through the soap club but, but then we many really years. linked over youtube stuff uh, yeah, we, yeah. Really cool. um but but that's the beauty of it isn't yeah. it and uh, we are speaking that common language. Yeah. We know yeah, 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 if, we, if I say red box D and D to you, everybody knows Everyone what, knows that, what is, that means. Right? Absolutely. Uh, or, or what a D twenty is. Yes. Or yeah. you know tabletop game yeah. and that sort of thing. And so. also, there are things like um, if you shoot me with your mega laser gun, yeah, and you've got a really high power strength energy rating to your gun, mm. and I've got a similar uh, endurance stroke wound value, you're probably at about halfway up the dice range, wound me. Yeah, there, yeah. Are, there, are, there are bits <laughs> of vocabulary. That that's a, bit, that's every, a mechanics thing. Exactly, yeah, that's running through every role play game, I guess, don't they? Yeah, maybe war games, anyway, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, so a bit about my uh, gaming history yeah, then, I suppose. Uh, I'm a bit old, I think I'm probably older than both of you, actually. Um, I was born in 1970. Only this much. 72, we both 72. Oh, are you? Right, okay, so I am the granddad of He the, got me. Uh, yeah, he got okay. me. Uh, so my introduction was through uh, role playing, uh, through uh, D and D. Um, I've been yeah, certainly I aware. I've, I've certainly played with the toy soldiers on the floor. Oh yeah, oh, good point. Yeah, I've sort of got yeah. Oh yeah, the, 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 the Toy Story green ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah the yeah. army soldiers, oh, army men, that sort of thing. Yeah. But D and D was my big thing when I was at school, and I remember playing. You, you mentioned about time. Time is a is a real commodity that. We're, most of us are short on mm. for one reason or another but as a kid summer holidays six weeks non-stop D, &D from morning till night yeah. well, no, into the, the early the, hours the 24 hour role playing oh, sessions yeah. we used to do oh, you start at six o'clock one day and just just go the and smells <laughs> well, yeah, I smelled beautiful. <laughs> honest. Always, always. We were. I remember being locked in my friend's garage for twelve hours. Five sweaty youths. Adolescents. Oh my, God. We, we, we oh my goodness. goodness. Makes why there's so many women in the, the game. Yeah. 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 Experience. Yeah. Yeah. Makes houses or, or, or somebody's a conservatory room for yeah. like yeah. twenty four hours. Oh yeah. My God. Yeah, you could cut the air with a knife. Um, but then, uh, strangely, yes, I suppose, and this is probably a little bit unusual in that. Um, uh, in 1989, 90, just before I went away to college, uh, there was a uh, convention put on at the King's Hall down here in Stoke oh. by the Stoke War Games Club, which I've now been a member of for 28 years. A long time, a long time now. And got involved in historical game. Uh, yeah. And that was my thing for many years, uh, specifically American Civil War, but I won't bore you with the. But those the cool, boring, huge, huge scale. I think huge, that's what they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Huge scale. Six and ten mil. Well, if we play, play, we play do the next turn. Uh, to be specific, Brilliant. we play 28 mil, which yeah. is uh, the bigger scale, uh, with a company called Dixon Miniatures, who are still going to yeah, this day, uh, played on a, sea, a layout that looked like a railway, model railway layout, with all sculpted scenery yeah. and hills and fences, and we'd refight real battles from the yeah. Middle of War. Yeah. I've, got, I've still got an abiding uh, passion uh, of that historical period as well as the First World War. Uh, but then there was a, another group that were playing Warhammer Fantasy Battle at the club. And I, I got involved with them as well and slowly got sucked into that, particularly around 6th sixth, sixth edition Warhammer Fantasy. Wow. Uh, with a Wood Elf army. Wood Elf. Wood Elf. Right, so uh, I did, I've, I've got the original 
white box first edition yeah, no. and we played on the floor with the pre-slaughter base yeah. figures from fantasy world yeah we got. Well, the, the, the one i got was the third edition with, where you got siege yes the yeah, siege book, which, is, which supposedly still stands up as one of the best yeah. best written game the game books yeah absolutely uh, from games yeah. Workshop, it's a it. beautiful it is a beautiful book uh, and never really got into the sci-fi side of things. Always tried to dabble in 40k and mm. never really got there. Yeah, I'm not quite I, big. I love the aesthetic of it, mm. and I quite like reading the Black yeah. Library books. But the game ranks and flanks, wasn't it? Yeah, Even with the Civil yeah, War, it's all about the volume yeah, and the yeah. lines. And yeah. yeah. But then most recently, I suppose, getting onto this Mantic kick that I'm on now. So Dead Zone is big for me at the moment. Yeah. Huge. Uh, let's play Dreadful. I'd like to play a bit of War Path or Fire Five. So that's like that. it. I've got. I've played one demo game of Fire Five, yeah. so I'm really looking forward to playing yeah. that. Uh, Star Saga. Star Saga. Uh, Star Saga. Yeah. Yeah. Still not so, played that yet. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I've now got two play. copies of that. <laughs> so that's well, there you go. So you've got plenty of stuff to do. Plenty of modules. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and also Kings of War as well. I want to get into. I've got lots of them dead in my man. Mm. man of the bay and all. Dwarves. Yeah. And I've got some. Uh, I do have a few dwarves. And some orcs. But the boys. The boys. boys, yeah. So in most game systems that I've ever played, uh, I've tended to lent towards that uh, orcish, goblin-y mm. type thing, that chaotic. Mm. Uh, let's just charge. <laughs> Very much cool like him. No subtlety. <laughs> no yeah, we've seen his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going uh, headlong game. He's a picture <laughs> of tact. <laughs> other than that, whether chaos, whether yeah. it's a good idea or not, I don't yeah. care. Just charge. Subtlety doesn't come into it, unfortunately. Enough of your cats. But th that's who we are. So, um, just to touch on something you, you said there, you sell throat. So I see this very much as a collaboration between the three others. Yeah, why not? It's going out on my channel, but I mean, it can go out on your it channel. Could do, couldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't have a channel. But I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you should have one. What do you think? People, people, think, people, think, people, think, people have told me to have video have instructions from my, from my um, oh, yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. But, but you know, uh, we're, we're here to support Uncertain yeah, Series yeah. as much as anything, yeah. as well as Mantic Games and any other little geeky company that uh, we come across, whether that's board games or whatever. But. It's a collaborative thing, uh, and hopefully to spread the word uh, of, of what this is. Yes, and yes, what we this do. is all spread about. Uh, so uh, we'll just check on the time. I think we're good for time now. Good. So uh, I thought just do a little bit of a hobby update. Where are yes. we in our individual hobby journeys? Because we we are all hobbyists. It's um, getting real. It normally, really when you see this sort of thing on on podcasts or on video casts like this. People will say what they've done in the last week or last month. Yeah. We've got a lifetime to catch up. Oh, well, you guys, oh, well, you, you guys are monster painters. So you guys will sit there and you'll do an army in a week. Well, paint like, like a monster like, with big fists. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, <laughs> that's the standard. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got like yeah. six armies oh, unpainted oh, because I hate oh, painting oh, miniatures. Oh, oh. I'm good at it. I'm really good at it. I just hate doing good it. Um, you need so, to find that speed painting. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, 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 it's dip. It's done. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll sit down, conceptualising the model. It'll be looking at it, going, "What goes on there?" He will. I do. Swear yeah. You see me do it. You see me do it. Do you know? Joking aside, back in the day, I was a, I was a, a painter figure to the absolute best of my mm. ability. Yeah. Or else it wasn't worth putting on the table. That's what I used to be like. I'm now basically base coat wash done. Because I just want things on the table. Yeah, but if, if you think about it, I want them to look good yeah, from but, here, not from underneath. Yeah, yeah you, you know, you've got two qualities, haven't you? You've got tabletop quality, yeah. where they just they'll pass yeah. at a distance, and then you've got like you know, golden demon L yeah. competition types. Which are beautiful. Yeah. Which you know. But that's a hobby in itself, isn't it? Almost. Yeah. People will spend. Things. People <laughs> are, people will spend weeks or months on one figure, whereas. I want to spend 10 minutes. On yeah, well, I simply do calculations, which is really bad and sad, I yeah. know, but I do calculation. If it takes me a day to do a model, it's going to take me 300 days in a year of odd to do 300 models. Yeah. There you go. Because I'm not going to be painting every day, am I? 300 yeah. days a year tending to it, I've probably got better things to do, yeah. I hope. And um, uh, yeah. therefore, that's one, you know, my, my undead army alone's got like six, 700 models in it. I'm not going to get it done, am I? Also, no. I don't see too well, so I'm not going to ever do it to a great. I've got to come up with. Systems for doing things okay, yeah, and looking at so and they do dry brush and dry brush and dry brush. And your and your models techniques, yeah. are very uh, passable, hopefully, they're uh, clean and, yeah. and, and yeah. crisp. And that's all I go for, Absolutely. yeah. Bright that's colors, colors and nice bright colors, yeah. so yeah, and it also helps me and my opponents see them, yeah, which is also helpful, I think. So, yeah, mm -hmm. and also it means if you've got a different paint style to other people, if you can develop your own painting style, can't you? Uh, make you guys look really brash and cool, then you're never going to go into anyone else's. So, collection by Mr. Well, yeah, my hobby is, is scenery. It's I just pure scenery. It's all this yeah. 
behind, well, not this mess over here, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's all stuff over here, so I'm, I'm pure scenery, man yes, now. It's, scenery it's, it's, it's like yeah. everything to paint, I'll, 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 I need to put out to somebody else and go, just paint my models for yeah. me, please. Um, but when I do sit down, I do actually sit down and go, here we go, I'll put a bit of my preview. 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 I, I have, I do yeah, passable models. He does. Yeah, passable. What, what are you practicing, Matty? So, so there's a. Uh, oh, there's more than passable. Can we get, so can we get a good camera that one? I don't know. They, well, which is, which, are they vehement? These are my vehement. Vehement for. Um, Blue vehement. Dead zone. For dead zone, yeah. dead zone and warpath and stuff. Yeah. That's the yeah. brood mother you have there. The brood and that is the noise she actually makes. Uh, well, that, that wasn't me. It's very intimidating. No, that was that's her. It's very intimidating. And they are. Uh, that's a, a nightmare. Yes. It thrills. But uh, yeah, no, that's. I, I hate painting, but yes, as you said, I am good at it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are good at it. They are very nice. I, I very think. Good. I think you know, they're with different scales of game as well. It's not not scale so much because it's twenty eight mil, just like anything else. But you've yeah. got games now where you, I can have three hundred models, and I have games where I've got like fifteen models. Yeah. Like, like dead zone. That's also very. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what, I know that you've been doing some painting in the last couple of weeks. Lots of Dead Zone. So um, because we've got the Outbreak uh, expansion that came out for Dead Zone. Um, yes, Excellent job, get, guys. Did, exactly. did, did, yes, thank you for that, yes. uh, Mantic. Um, uh, so they've essentially, I think the most important thing about the whole, it isn't the new stuff, it's actually that they've put everything together in the book. Yeah. So it's nice and easy to find all the army lists and yeah. stuff like that. So do, you know what, like do, that. do you know what just got in for me? Remember when we went to the Mantic Open Day and mm. they asked Ronnie, Oh. For the pictures of the weapons with the names next to them, you did it. Yes. Thank you very much, Ronnie. Really nice. We like that. We know our birthdays. Like now, it's really good. It's like, thank you very much. Yeah, well done, Ronnie. Oh. That's right. Or whoever was responsible. Yeah, whoever. Well, no, did Ronnie it. asked. <laughs> That's it. So um, yeah, and they brought out two new factions. So it's Maison Labs, yes, which are in Star Saga. You buy Star Saga, you get to oh, have a whole faction, and like you don't have to buy another pack to, mm. to make it work. They're just there in the box, so you just paint those up and, and you're yeah. done. Uh, and also the Nameless, which are, um, under, I think they're under sea. Some of them are like crab claws, some of them look like shrimps, some That's of them look right. like, like mm. huge lobster, doom yeah. lobsters. So I think they're like. I don't know if I can say this, but it's very, it's very Terror from the Deep. It is Terror from the Deep. Terror from the Deep, the, the computer have, game. Have you read the fluff in the uh, Outbreak book yeah. about the name? I think that's really it's, interesting. It is really I haven't actually read them. The, they're, so, they're, they're in a nebula, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so behind the Mariana curtain That's right. lies the Nameless Empire. Yeah. All the GCPS um, stuff goes offline, doesn't it? You can't right. quite navigate in there, so oh, they've nice. been safe to develop. Yeah. And they're not they're not just like Gribble monsters, are they? They are actually a technologically advanced... Well, they yes. have a Dreadful team. They yes. have, well, of course, they have a Dreadful <laughs> team. <laughs> actually, it's quite interesting about this, because I heard, the, I heard, <laughs> heard a, a bit of a, um, a theory on the Nameless Dreadful team. And, and several of the Dreadball teams, we know a bit of a Dreadball aficionado, is that, is it actually a team of nameless who've come across the Mariana Curtain to come and play Dreadball, or are they genetically engineered Ooh. by some corporation to represent them? Because oh, really, would, not the real nameless. Would, would, would Veermin, who are, you know, a pretty... Um, Despicable. Sorry, Craig. I know that you're your baby. Despicable. I am hurt. But you know they're pretty anti. Anti. Uh, everyone else. Yes, etc. Yeah. Etc. Yeah. Uh, but they, they, they really. They want anti. They just mm. surviving. They want. Your, they I, want your cheese. I it. It's I, not I, so. See, he admits. I it. want your cheese. You see, he admits. Give me it. all your cheese. You see? Despicable. Cheese. <laughs> I, I like. I, I, I'm happy to think of it from both sides. Definitely. Is it genetically genetically engineered? I think the real name yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. And by these corporations, yes. yeah. uh, in the image of these races that we've come across, or are they, as a nameless team, got the spaceship and flown through Is the Mariana Cone? I'm going to come and play for the treble. Well, well, I think we, we, it's, we, it's yeah. a violent game in an arena. It is, yeah. it is. But we're going to yeah. get to decide some of it, aren't we? Because I think they've got a campaign coming. Yes. In yes. Some campaigns. And I think if, if you say, for example, if the nameless fight hard enough, they're going to get a GCPS like planet. Yeah, yeah. That they can that they can have. I think it's really have. interesting. The future's yes. pretty bright. I'm going to have it in my clawed hand. Yes. Yeah. Oh, As a nameless a, player. Yeah. He's going to be a nameless. I'm going to be nameless. Because you've got rebels, haven't you? And I love rebels, oh, but I you've got rebels. So you, yeah, you, you'd be rebels. Well, I've got marauders be... and rats. Yeah. So I can be orkies or all yeah. that boys. I so think between us we've got a fair few. Got a good, yeah, yeah, we've got a good mix. Yeah. And then we've got somebody else, that's one of our other mates plays as well, and he's mm. got uh, Plague and GCPF and yeah. Enforcer. So. Oh, GCPF. GCPF. Yes. So, um, 
Uh, my bit of a hobby update then. Actually, today I've probably still got a bit of paint on my yeah. hands. Uh, painted I've got, I've got my, resin on mine. <laughs> painted my uh, sh uh, Teraton Shock Trooper. Oh. And the Rin Nomad. Uh, Rin. What's it called? Is it yeah, guy? there's a Rin Nomad. Yeah. Yeah. Is, that, is that the guy with the, the two arms. with the four arms? Yeah, with the two arms and the one the, the, yeah. the two arms with the with the yeah. long gun. Yeah. So he's painted up. Yeah. Um, he's Hun the Bounty Hunter. Is the model. I did, really that's good. the that's the one I'm yeah, about. Really good. So um, I did enter the uh, July oath. You yes yeah oh the oath uh, to paint up. He's done a tournament as well. I have done a tournament. I didn't do particularly oh, well at oh. that tournament. Doesn't matter. He's there. You got the ones. He's there. There. I got the ones. got the ones. I got the ones. But the other way is off. Yeah, true. True. And I, I am going to Wafcon. Really looking forward to Wafcon. Uh, I'm also going to Wafcon. Hope so. Hope so. That's, is that the one in Manchester? Yes. That's yeah, yeah, I'll be in September. Andy Shaw. Got to go. 16, yeah. does it? Team yeah. uncertain sore points. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. no, it's yeah. something you were mentioning earlier is that it's difficult to get lots of games in. Yes. That's why a lot of people yeah. go to events and tournaments, not necessarily to win, but actually just to play five games in a row. That is certainly <laughs> the case with me. So yeah. since I've been into this kick of uh, Mantic stuff and particularly enjoying Dread Zone, uh, dead zone, sorry. <laughs> That's an easy mistake. It is easy. Um, yeah. We played a game, we played, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, one game at yeah. Manor Flux, the Manor Flux. fantastic Manor yeah. Flux in Newcastle. In Newcastle. Um, I played one game uh, at home with a guy from the Stoke Club, and then I played five games at the event. So if it wasn't for that event uh, in yeah. uh, Element Games... You've, you've, yeah. you've, you've quadrupled your... Absolutely. You've yeah. played more games than me. Yeah. And you've yeah. played more yeah. than you. The guy, that won, <laughs> the guy that won that tournament, Andy 2D6, yes. started playing, yeah, indeed, started playing about six months ago. Right. So he's a new player, and he came in and trashed it. Yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. killed it. But you can see the see his uh, evolution. You can, he's put that reps. As, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, which is really interesting. Yeah. So that's, that's my hobby. I've painted a load of... Dead Zone scenery, mm. loads of Dead Zone That was scenery. fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, really. It is I, a I hobby like in itself. Yes. Yes. It is. It's, it's really good planning. Yeah. And, and um, it's Lego. It's you can't get any it's of Lego. It's Steve Perry um, from Dark, uh, from Dark Art C. Name yeah. drop. And uh, taught me this this link technique. in the description. Link yeah. in the description. Taught me yeah. this technique. So you you undercoat, and then you put lacquer on. Yeah. So you don't scratch it off. Then you put hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> hairspray? Really? What? Hairspray? <laughs> then you put more. Have you got much over. call for hairspray? Um, not nowadays. No. <laughs> that's well, why well, that's, so that's why I wear the hat is to keep in all the hair. Yes. yes. And, no, uh, he did just have honest, so honestly, hair. ladies and gents. That's hair. why. That's like a lost hair. And or, um, or or stress. I know. Well, I, I had an argument with a Buddhist and oh. uh, <laughs> argument with a lawnmower. Ooh. And um, uh, yeah, and uh, then you put paint over the top, and then because it's got all this squishy. Um, hairspray. hairspray underneath you scratch it off it wow. looks damaged it's a, it's a cool technique it shows the colour underneath it shows the colour underneath you'd like do a nice bright colour like red like rust yeah. underneath it or something like that just brings it out now other people do it really artistically and I just, did, just I did like a monster oh, I, don't, I don't think you need to do because no. effectively it's right. meant to look really bold and brash yeah. Yeah. especially there's supposed to be places that have been like um, settlements that are made out of packing crates. Yes. That's right, yes. That's uh, the original the, the, from from the settlers. That's why they all look the same. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they're in that cube well, shape. The galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So that's the the, the settlers' packing crates that they've turned into settlements. Mm. So, but I've seen online some quite interesting uh, variants on Dead Zone terrain. Sort of jungly type jungly. terrain or somebody, shanty town. Somebody did areas. one where it was like, you've got like, you've got like four planters and they've got all, they were, they were multi levels of, of, of like. Um, Plants from obviously um, fish tanks, uh, oh, aquariums. Yeah, and you get aquariums, and you got like like four of these across oh, the board, yeah. and it was like and they went yeah. up. It was really quite cool. And I saw one on I think it was a way to fire bat report the weekend. Yeah. Um, the where someone's put LEDs oh. in theirs, and Andy Sharp's done a lot of these like blue, and they've got like billboards and warning yes, signs yes. all over They're it. They're great. Really I, I, have, I have downloaded the um, the technology signs to do uh, print out and. Sticker right, and dead zone yeah, stuff, yeah. warning warning labels yeah. and that kind of stuff. Which brings us, it's almost like a segue that is, isn't it? Amazing, a smooth link. A smooth. No, not in this, not in this, not Into the feature for today's episode, which oh, is, dear. and, and, and that's great, that's not no, 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 no. of uncertain scenery. Yes, uncertain scenery. And we are in uncertain scenery towers. We are. Uncertain towers. So I thought the first feature for the first episode should take pride of place. Mr. Craig, yes, on certain Craig. 
on certain scenery though. So can you give us a little bit of a mm -hmm. potted history of how you ended up here? Well, not in this chair. Well, well, the, well, I walked it. The well, metal. Metal. <laughs> um, no, it's basically oh, yeah. I say I went. I I've been doing CAD for years. I as I said earlier, and um, I've got people and mates again. You should build the scenery. This this scratch built stuff. Uh, and they say it was a slit. I said like you know I can do better than that. Yeah. So I um, borrowed a bit of money, bought myself. Uh, we did some research on the machines. I decided to buy a whole UK machine instead of the one from China. Yes, this is from the made, UK. Made, made in the UK. Yeah, there we go. So there is patriotic the Patriotic in the way it is. Made in the UK. So um, it's a um, healing science fiction bunny rabbit. <laughs> Put the bunny rabbit in there, and the laser kind of does surgery. Oh, yeah. That's right. Nobody's going to do that in that machine because it happens. will do it. I dread to think of <laughs> bunny rabbit. Well, I've been told that if you actually disable this like a safety system and put your hand under it, will stick your finger off. Oh, it will just. I don't told in. you we don't want to go there. It will cut your finger off. I told you. Um, um, but yeah, um, I, I bought myself a machine. Um, but before I bought the machine, I used. Um, place called, I can't remember the name of it now, it's a community place that does, um, they've got laser cutters, they've got 3D printers, they've got printers, it's up in Hanley, oh, I can't remember the name, I'll have to put the, I'll remember the name later, yeah, we'll the, and we'll get a it's link. It's a community run, yeah, so I, 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 I did my designs on the card, yeah. I got them, I got them cut up there. They do exams then, with you, it's like Chamber of Commerce supported as well, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it's so fully private. Those guys are, but they do. They they too get like to do stuff in schools as well, and, and through the summer. Um, but yeah, I'll use our machine first. They showed me how to use it, and then they're right. Then there you go, use the machine. Sweet. Um, and then I decided to buy my own, and I'd, I'd started some with um, some of the dead zone, uh, drop zone, first. Yeah, drop zone. So really bring some of the drop zone stuff forward. Um, so went on a ten mil scale sort of board i think uh Trig saw has a video of me standing on that's true my He's board video yeah um with the yeah. standard bob which is another way weight measurement nothing uh, to do with bob no not with you it's a, it's unluck, un unlucky bob it's unlucky just, bob this, this, is is this guy falling down a hill very lucky this guy falling down a hill yeah. is unlucky bob um so i come with a, I, I sent uh i'm going to start a com company to my friends and i said um Somebody asked, what are you going to call it? And I said, I don't know. I'm a bit uncertain. And my mate went, that's an awesome that name is. for a company. <laughs> and I went, it is. It is. Yeah. So that will do. Um, now it else was a bit. No. Then I, came, I, I, I saw, because of uncertain scenery, I thought a guy falling down a hill <laughs> would be a good logo. It's natural. Um, it's natural, isn't it? Just, just standard. Can I just have a look at that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it's about 12 inches square? So yeah, it, 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 it is exceptionally well. 304 millimetres, if we're going to bring it, which is 12, oh, mil, 12 inches. Oh, okay. That's very precise, isn't it? Um, and but the detail. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, and they can are. Just, can we just see this sort of. I don't know what you call this here. It's a balustrade. The bat there, oh, yeah, thank you. Wow. <laughs> it's Names. beautiful, isn't it? And wow. you've got the road markings on there as well. Yeah. Um, just stunning. And then, and then, because the boards, the, the, the other boards go like on the level there, yes. don't they? And that, that so goes into as it says on the website, it's um, laser cut scenery with depth. Yes. Is my new, my new tagline, which I came up with. Your USP. Yes. yes. And um, I started with these, and I've been asked to do. I've done some uh, dead zone boards, which we are now licensed by Magic. Ah. Which is like went to went to them. Yes, yeah, so they're yeah, the Magic website, website themselves. Eventually, right? yeah. yeah. Um, um, they, I think I'm going to the summer open day for Dead Zone on the 19th of August, 18th, 19th, Ooh, okay. at Magic Headquarters. Yeah. Um, 18th, yes, because it collides with something. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be going there, um, probably playing a few games at uh, Dead Zone and yeah. promoting my boards. And I know, Records. we're both customers. We're both uh, yes. with the, uh, I have some uh, guy in Michigan who... Um, uh, Richard Hall, his name is. Yes, I've been following him. On he's he's also, yeah. also got a YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, family, I think he's another. Yes, he does. He did a really good video. Um, and he's uh, he bought a set of Dead Zone boards, and he's mm. really happy with them. Excellent. Um, he's done a real good job on them, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he's the other one that showed the picture of the LEDs coming through the the vents yes. at the bottom. Yeah, amazing. Which is um, something I'm going to pinch. Yeah. Yeah. In due course. Well, we, we, the idea came to me. I just haven't done it yet. 
Uh, before we were when we were discussing with Manti, couldn't we? The first first time we were sharing yeah. the HQ. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and um, we, I've moved on to twenty eight mil. I've I've just released the fifteen mil scale like two days ago. Um, which are, yeah, these are these ones. It goes back again. Same again. I'll, I'll bring the bridge forward. And a stop it. It excites me. Mm. Uh, yeah, these are a little. These are a little bigger. See, these, oh. are, these are fifteen mil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the standard boards. Um, that's the cool thing. Yeah. That's what I love. Yeah. Is I can be going along with my tank here, and look, I look down. I can hide yeah. the tank under the bridge. So, I mean, literally, I've done that so, in the game of uh, drop zone. Yeah, we have. We've hidden tanks, hidden tanks under, and under bridges and drop. I mean, even drop ships we've hidden under bridges. It's, it's like there's gaming the, angles you've never thought of before. Yeah. It's weird. And, um, Just look at the detail, guys. At this, yeah. I don't know if you can quite see, it, but this decoration here. And the decoration on the balustrade yeah, yeah. <laughs> here, which is just the extra touch. Yeah. That, um, we were talking about Andy Sharp's Dead Zone series, yeah. those little it's extra that bits that bring you to life. Because well, with, without that, it still looked great. Right. But, but that extra that detail is, yeah. just makes it seem real. Yeah. With it, with it the, the immersion, whole, isn't it? The whole yeah. basic things of these yeah. is I want people to um, do their own thing with them. Um, you know, eventually there will be extra bits because these bridges are now removable which they weren't in the initial setup so i'm going to do some alternate bridges mm. so you'll have one if you buy you have on. this one and then you can have one which say looks like a girder bridge mm. yes yeah like the yeah. arnhem bridge yeah, yeah. like the arnhem yeah, bridge definitely. stuff like that so we're going to do some girder bridges yeah. or we'll do a blown up bridge yes i'm yeah. sure the request for that yeah yeah well. so we'll have um, eventually they Just will be there and for me it's, 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 it's making wood not look like wood anymore yeah and that's, well, you know you succeeded there. Dark Ops do that as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. They're great. Some great yeah. stuff. Oh, they like the frigate, the Seawall frigate that I've got. Yeah. Is awesome. Oh, yeah. It's so a, nice. scary good. But this is good like that is that it doesn't look like it's made of MDF once it's all made up. Mm. It looks like a roadway. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned seeing MDF at Salute. I mean, yeah, MDF yeah. has been on the scene now for... Yeah, I've, I've come late to this party. I don't, I, don't I don't know how long it's probably oh, it maybe 10 or I think upwards of 10 years easily yeah uh, because prior to that it was all resin wasn't mm. it if you wanted scenery for war games it was heavy. generally cardboard yeah. or resin yeah. which is really and, heavy and it's re resin was heavy it's brittle yeah uh, but the new resins are quite yeah. resilient now, yeah. the lighter yeah. stuff. Yeah. But the, the older resins were like more uh, ceramic and they were very brittle. Yeah. Certainly back in the day, I remember uh, a group of us from the Stoke War Games Club being involved with a company called Grand Manor who do, um, who were the first company to do uh, really detailed resin scenery mm. yeah. with intern, uh, internal details. So oh. there's a Roman watchtower, for instance, that I got a Roman shield and uh, a rug and a picture on the wall inside. It's but, like a doll's house or role playing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. but they're really expensive. Yeah, exactly. Whereas the MDF, you know, this it's, is really yeah. affordable. You're talking about gaming tables here that you're creating. It's yeah, the yeah, gaming yeah. tower I dreamt of when I was a kid. Yeah, that's yeah. the gaming tower yeah. I always dreamt of and could never have. So well, you'd have your YouTube picture over a few books. Yeah, back in the day. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah you drink your green rug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, that um, um, I say as, long, as well as going down, I've got levels that are going to go up yeah. as well. So you essentially, and you can keep going up. Mm. The whole point is, it's all modular. Yeah. So you just you just keep going. Um, and that's the thing I think with Dead Zone, isn't it? That that's the, the unique selling point for Dead Zone. In that, okay, you're only playing on a two foot square board. You're not really playing on a two foot square board. It's a two foot square cube. Oh, two. That's right. Yeah, cube, isn't it? It's cubes. Cubes. Uh, that can go as high as you want, as as gravity will oh, allow, or your height will allow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One of my budget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One, of, yeah. One of my ambitions is to actually have, um, yeah, is, is have like a complex that's a squares high. I, mean, I want to do that. I, I, I don't mean, know how much it's going to take. There may be a tower that will be coming that will be five. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. Just so um, on top of that. So, so, on top of your scenery to have the basement level oh, as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, 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 the point, I've got a few, uh, we've got the basic boards that, which, which you bought set of and I think uh, Great Tours got a set of as well. Um, but for um, WAFCON, there will be new boards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There'll be new. Is, it, is this an exclusive? And there is an exclusive. An exclusive. Here first. first well, episode. Yes. Watch. There, will, there, will, there, will, there, will be, there will be new uh, dead zone boards or twenty eight mil skirmish boards. Be still my beating heart. Um, to expand uh, your boards to whatever you want. Yeah. So. Fantastic. So, I mean, one of the scenarios I'm thinking of because I've got four boards now. I think I've got an extra, one, haven't I? 
uh, I've got like one of the prototypes. Yeah, you've got well. you, uh, so the prototypes tra- tra- here liked by my prototypes. I like the prototypes. Do you get to know what's going to happen? Are they? So I've got like a collector's uh, item. The ones that don't quite got, work or yeah. changed a bit. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll have so, it. Make best of it. We've made, done a good job. Yeah, yeah, it's a basic job that was. It still looks really nice. I'm going to have the four, and they're going to have one at the end, and then both people start from two corners, but they've got to take something at the end of the one that's off the board. Excellent. So that's what I'm going to do. The modular element of it gives you new scenarios. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do a, a, a 12 cube by 12 yeah. cube board. Yeah. So it's going to be it's going to be nine of my boards yeah. okay. for for Waffle. There you go. That so really going to be well, so all the weapons be, have got like 10, yeah, 12 yeah. square inches. Yeah. And um, you know, I've got I've built some more of the um, the Mantic plastic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I've just got to finish that off, and it'll go all over my board. And there'll be a demo board. People will be able to play on it in Wafcon. So Brilliant. and it will change so the game. Maybe the top table. Top table. Uh, I have been. I have been told it may be. May, may by, or by may mis- not be. We by Mr. Sh- by Mr. Cannot, Sharp. We cannot Dr. Dr. Dead Zone. Doctor Dead Zone by Mr. Sharp. Doctor Dead Zone. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. nice. So I know that um, I, something that's interesting for me is um, always admire people with talent, and let's not be shy about damn it. Them. Let, let's not be shy. Yeah. About okay. It. Okay. I have a talent. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we all have talents in certain areas, don't we? All have certain. Certain things that we can do fairly well, and clearly this is something that you do pretty well. It is. Uh, where's the inspiration come from? Because mm. how how do you go from perhaps a, a, a sketch on a bit of paper to what you've got here? It, it's sitting down, and you you. Um, I wanted road boards, so we, for for inspiration for the the um, the drop zone boards, we actually used the official drop zone cardboard. Oh yes, yeah. Um, but I wanted to change them, which is why that. If people noted, they've got these elongating hexagons through the through the road because I wanted it to look as if the road was sectional. So what you'd do is, if a piece of road blew up, they'd just pull it out um, and they just lift yeah. lift another piece in, nice. and all the pipes and the electrics all connect up underneath. So it's that's, that's what we dream of. But, yeah, that's, but everyone, everyone does this, don't they? They all think about this. Yeah, they all role play that. But yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah, so and, and, then, and, then, do it? and then. Ah, then, then, and then what I had to do is, is visualize um, 2D planes in 3D. So so you, you you start with a flat plane, and then you, you just you build it up in your head, and then I was making all the connections, and um, where can I say I'm going from there? It, that's what I did. I visualized 3D patterns in in, 2D, in flat planes, and then you, you do a test cut, and if it doesn't work, you make minor changes, and it, you you. you Make it work. It's um, uh, it's black magic. It's black. It is. Um, he once looked at the House of Parliament, came back and drew them perfectly. <laughs> no, he is. <laughs> no, you can do, you can do that. There, there is there is a building I do want to do for the Nintendo scale, Told you. and it's uh, if everyone it. have heard of Trellick Towers in London, you could do it now. Which is the uh, iconic sort of um, um, tower block yeah. in London. I want to do a ten mil scale one of those, but it will be. 600 mil high it will be like <laughs> like this on the board uh, if I do proper scale um, and also I want to scale up some of my 10 mil to 28 mil so yeah. it'll be huge, quite big yeah um, I suppose the world is your oyster then isn't it mm. and, and yeah. well, it's the, limited by your imagination I, I have almost quite a big imagination I have a lot of ideas and not enough time to put them on paper well this, this, we can come back to that um, that scarcity of uh, time <coughs> well like, this is my the, job and I still don't have enough resources time and I still don't have enough time to put them on no, paper no, no, it no. takes a lot of time it, 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 the design work is, is the most intensive uh, but once the design is done uh, you, you, you task cut team you put them together and then it's it's then it's done. Then it's the other intensive bit, which the my way, which is the bit I hate, was the instructions. But I need to, <laughs> I need to do them for people so they can build them. That's right. I suppose um, I suppose that's the other bit there that you've just hit on that never occurred to me. It's all well and good designing this thing and creating it, so you've got these fantastic bits of scenery. But then breaking it down into the jigsaw parts because it is a jigsaw, isn't it? At yeah, the end yeah. Of the day. I, I when it's I an MDF I, jigsaw that then you. But how how do you? Decide where the good, where the cut needs to go to create that flat pack that you delivered to me the other night. Of, so I can build this three D because it's certainly board. it's certainly the thing, isn't it? That's the, you can see the thought that's gone into that. It's yeah. not just the thing; it's the construction. Yes, that's yeah. gone into. I I'm, I've got an engineering background, right, um, and an artistic background. Right. So I I, I you know, A's in, in art at school and stuff like that. So 
um, my mate said it, one of my other mates said it best. He says it's that merge of engineer and artist where I can make it look good, but the engineer side makes it work or Practical. how it should work in the real world. Yeah, um, that's and, a perfect combination. And, right? and that's what um, you know. It looks like a proper um, Victorian steel yeah, yeah. racing and stuff yeah. like that, which is what I wanted the effect of on them boards. I wanted like the Victorian details. Um, you can tell he's an engineer by the fact that <coughs> saying, oh, not all the boards, we don't suggest you do it or anything like that, but yeah. one of the boards I've actually filmed him standing on. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've said it's that It's a earlier. gaming board that he just stood um, on. Well, we were asked, we were asked like, early on. It's like physics. It's then. physics we, we, we were stuff, we were asked, isn't it? We were asked early on, um, even before I opened the, the shop. You can take the lean. Um, can take the somebody, lean. somebody asked something, can you take the fat boy the lean? lean? And, and <laughs> I, I, I won't <laughs> condone that, but that's, that's what I was asked. And, and the so, ultimate test. The ultimate. And, and so the ultimate, and so me, a six foot two, uh, sixteen stone, decided to try and stand on one of my boards, and they work. Took it. So so I know they will survive the fat boy lean, um, which is we've worked it out as it says on on um, on certain scenery chat on Facebook. Um, um, that um, it, uh, it's a hundred kilograms or one bob. <laughs> Unlucky one bob. bob. Is that a weight? Uh, a it's, unit it's, of measure, it's, it's a unit, unit measurement now yeah. called one bomb, one bomb. 100 kilograms. So, as well as the big stuff that you do, I know you, you can, oh, put, yeah, you can yeah. use this for pretty much anything. So, yes. even down to the smallest tokens that uh, yeah, we, we all well, love to use. I, I, in I, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, let's put some of it um, over here. Love a token. Now love these, tokens. Aren't, these aren't tokens. Well, what these are, I do some, uh, everyone does uh, shipping containers. Yes. From there, from there. Now, oh if I show this, if I show you guys, I don't know if you see, can you see it. What, but, what you what won't happened? see these on the camera. I can't even but see But there them. we go. I've no Look idea at those. Look at those. Those are so tiny. And, and those um, keep the uh, locking rods to the doors on the packing containers. So I can, um, the width of the laser is 0 0.2 of a millimetre. Okay. So you can factor that in. To your calculations when you design work. When you design work, so everything slides into. It's very acute watches. Um, funny surgery. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and you see you do acrylics as well, aren't you? I've uh, yeah, I've, I've done um, done some tokens uh, before for a friend of mine That's called D and D. Yeah. Um, I did some um, like fifteen, sort of twenty five mil to represent your know, standard size creatures in D and D. I did in some uh, 50 mil to represent your large creature in D&D. Then I did in some 75 mil to represent your huge creatures in D&D. Wow. So he got, um, he used those to, he used, we use them, we go over every month and we're playing with those. Um, I have done some other tokens um, as well, but I won't say who they're for on here No, yet. absolutely not, no. Um, could, could, you get, could, could you get the skulls? Ooh, Ooh, get, oh, I've been asked to get skulls, I'm happy to do that. Um, these, these on you. And uh, mm. I haven't put them on the website yet. I'll, I'll bring a piece of paper as well. No, 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 they don't bring that. That's not a, the whole thing? No, okay. I, I want all the skulls, watchers, but yeah, okay. I've been told not to bring all the skulls. No, not, there we go, not, have not, some not, of the not skulls. The paper. There not we the paper go. Not the bring. <laughs> but these are, uh, like, secrets, secrets. on it. We, 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 went, we used these the other day for Dead Zone as death tokens. Uh, so, uh, blood tokens. There you go. So if you take a wound, think you're wounded. You're um, wounded first, then you die, don't you? So yes. That's a wound. So, what wound tokens, I'm going to do some victory point tokens uh, and we might even do and there's um, some new rules aren't there like in dead zone with the triclinic shards yeah oh, so we're going to do some other markers that, yeah. that are going to be done which will supplement the cardboard ones you get with the game yes. like that. so um, I, know, I know where most people do stuff like this put this back of course so these um, <coughs> oh, love to hold skulls would these be bespoke orders or, or would you perceive that you'll be going into sort of production of these on a those will be a production scale. item and in, in Maybe one, you know, one of six colours. Yeah. So, um, you know, black or red or orange. But most people probably want to in red because the, the blood yeah. tokens, the death tokens. Yeah. But if I asked um, you to do something, would you do it for me? Yes, I believe I do would believe you take a thing? that I made you some business cards. Ah, it's the business cards out of in acrylic. acrylic. Brilliant. Wow. Um, An acrylic business card. Acrylic business card. Business you haven't got any. Here I haven't here. got any with me. No. You know you've made it when you get business um, cards. You do. You do. You, actually, in the bag over there is one of the badges Ooh. I made next to the. Wipes, so no, other side, other side, other side of the other side. I bet you like to edit this bit out. 
Okay, so we no, like we'll, to keep, we'll keep this raw. We yeah, like, let's keep it raw. We like to wipe ourselves here. Okay. Now, these are some uh, acrylic wow. Uncertain Scenery badges I did for where the last, the, this year's salute. So we were, we were handing these out at salute. Oh, wow. Um, you know, along with normal card, business cards, but if people wanted one of those, you know, dead sci-fi, I do. Do you know what uh, I could see that as? Uh, almost like a billboard. Yeah. In oh. Dead Zone, on Pe top of the building. People have already asked for that. Yeah. People have already asked to turn Goodness. that into a billboard. Yeah. Uh, I've I've just turned that badge into a billboard. Yeah, you know, but that's the point. Yeah. People have asked to this MDF shape for, yes. for various games to be billboards. Yeah. Yes, MDF frame. What a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. So there we, you can even keep I them. think I'll keep that one for yeah. later. <laughs> if you have one, you have Thank a blue you. one. I do. I've got another one now. So I'm going to keep that for later. I've got many of them left. There we go. You see, I'm a greedy man. Greedy man. I want to take it. So, yeah, so I did cards for you. I've done, a local artist wanted some shapes cutting out. So I did some of those early on. Um, and then somebody else has come to me, one of the, the cleaners actually from down here, says, Can you cut me out some MDF shapes? So, one minute, yeah, I can do that for you. So, Brilliant. we'll do we'll do some we'll do some custom work. The world's your oyster. We'll do some custom work and bunny surgery. And <laughs> okay, I suppose that <laughs> to move on from bunny surgery, we don't approve of bunny surgery. I no, do. Not, not in that machine, anyway. I have yeah, certain sort of <laughs> We distance ourselves from these comments. Yeah, so I'm going to distance myself from throat sore. <laughs> I'm getting rather worried at the look <laughs> in his eye. Uh, so, uh, I guess to finish then, what's, what's the future hold for him? I guess this um, time next year it'd be million. I, I, I want to do something next year, right. uh, but funds are a little tight for that. It's incredibly so expensive. There it? may, there may be, there, if people will allow, and I'll look into it, it's probably a GoFundMe. And guys, I'll beg, borrow and steal, yeah. to forget to go down to salute. Um, the other thing I've seen people do is uh, to share a trade space. Yeah. So if, you, if you're a small yeah. company, uh, I, I, I don't know what the, the price is for a six foot frontage. I've, I've got I've got friends in the industry uh, that uh, Peter, Peter Pick, who are a 15 mil historical yeah. miniature manufacturer and rule manufacturer and part of their playtest team. Uh, their six foot per six foot of frontage is something incredibly expensive. I can't say what it is. It's a, it's quite a bit of money from I haven't seen the price list yet for next but, year but to, but to break even um is 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 a, is a feat uh, there. Or albeit it's the biggest trade show. It's a great place. Isn't? You get people well, it, from it, all over the world coming to salute. You do absolutely uh, so, and they take all the stuff away with them. So. Yeah they do. Um and backpacks. <laughs> Trolleys. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, but yeah, to share a trade space with one of the smaller boutique type mm. companies is, is an idea. Yeah. It is, but I need to. Um, but you'll need to spread you. Well, that's the point. You, I I need a six foot before four foot setup yeah. just to just to show, show up, off yeah. uh, a demo board. You know, he'll do it. I'm confident. I know. Um, yeah, absolutely. So, so if you, yeah. guys, you know, Watch guys, this guys, you guys think you can fund me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm only begging a little. Buy his stuff. Yeah, that's a good buy idea. It buy is. my stuff. It is. And then we can go to salute and we can sell more stuff and yeah. show people more people what I've got. But it, it's one of those. Um, uh, it's like a snowball, isn't it? So once you yeah. once you get a foot on that ladder. Well, if you think about, it, I've only been home since um, April. So it's only three months, yeah. mm. uh, and you know uh, I've had orders from uh, Canada, yeah. uh, like two or three from America. There's a guy in Texas that's itching to buy the 15 mil stuff. Yeah. He's just waiting to get the funds together. There's two got two guys of the two mates of the guy at Rich Hall and Mitchin who he says two or three players still want my boards. They're getting the cash together because again, obviously into America, it's not just the cost of the boards; it's the cost of shipping. Yeah. Um, it's quite it's quite heavy once you get yes, down packed yeah, up. I imagine so, yeah. Um yeah. when you know and I've just had two orders, one gone to Germany, one gone to Spain. Fantastic. So we we are it's we're comedy, still yeah. we're still um yeah. worldwide yeah. To, to the moment. And yeah, it's, the thing's usually running. It's a world it's spanning. Not, it's usually I've, 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 the, the, it's usually you usually hear loud music in here yeah. over the side of yeah. the uh, machines. Yeah. Machines as they go. Yeah. It's just like a sci fi chop shop. Mm. It's brilliant. Anything else yeah. you'd like to add, Craig? Um I've got yeah, so I've got lots of things in the pipeline as it were and I'd like to keep those close to my chest for now um, but um, a lot more I'm going to do more, some more role playing stuff so we're going to do oh, some oh brilliant um, yeah. so we'll do more um, stuff for the role players so we'll but that. you're on the, all the usual outlets of Facebook yeah I'm, I'm on, uh, if, 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 if you go on um, yeah I've got my own website uncertainscenery.com we've got um, uncertainscenery's a shop on Facebook as yeah. well as we've got the chat group 
We'd like careful, people, he'll start twitting soon. We, we, we'd like people to be more attached on the chat group than the actual shop. Just so if you've liked one, tweet, tweet, please, tweet, please tweet, join, join oh, the other oh, one. Oh, 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 twat it. Uh, sorry. Yes, my favourite um, chef called Sandy James. And um, <laughs> uh, I am on um, Instagram. Uh, Unlucky Bob's on Instagram, actually, should I say? Yes. Um, yes. It's not you, is it? It's Unlucky Bob's. No, it's Unlucky yes, Bob's on Instagram. Yeah. I'm not on there. No, no. No. Um, so the alter ego is, is on Instagram. Marvellous. Great. Yep. Well... Uh, I, I, I can only see it going upwards from here. Yeah, Should well, the, the, the point is, uh, as um, people love it, I see, as, as, as I've done the 10 mil stuff, and I'm going, well, I can add more detail to that now, but I don't want to go back to it yet because there's other stuff I need yeah. to do before. Right? There's, not, there's nothing else there. Like and it. the guys that have bought it have gone, I've just bought all this, what yeah. do you need to do? Look, that's me. All right, I'm just looking how we do for time. I think we're about coming to the end anyway of yeah. the first ever episode of the Uncertain <gasps> Impossible <gasps> Hunt. Um, so uh, I guess we'll close with just what the future holds for us in the yeah. next uh, week or so. What are we so digging we're out? Are we going ahead? Yeah. Oh, what, am I do, what are we doing this week? My goodness. Well, I've got to make up some of those boards. Yeah, you're playing play Waste Man this week. We should hopefully we play Waste Man. It's cool. definitely a game I want to play. Yeah, we're playing Waste Man yeah. on Friday yeah. at uh, Stone Stafford. Stone Stafford. Uh, so we'll club. I have yet to attend, but I do intend to make paid visits. Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, I'm going to be, I say, I'm working on new boards. So um, hopefully, we're the 15 mil stuff's done for now. That's on the site, ready to, yeah. get, ready to go. And I'm, so reading, I'm reading a short story compilation from Mantic about uh, the Warpath universe. That's quite Is that containment protocols? That's the one that's containment. That's the one reading. I have that. Oh, have you? Oh, I, think I, I think I've got the other one. Yeah. I've got the yeah. first. What's it called? First, I can't remember. Oh, I can't it's a novel, though, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I, well, I, well, I bought a load. I'm I, I, I bought yeah. a load of some of these Kickstarter right, stuff, so it came through. with yeah. that and everything. So yes, there's a lot of short stories, stories, and they're linked at the end, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, it's like James Herbert. Nice, yeah. Yeah. brilliant. But yeah, do that one, and then is it the Edge of the Maelstrom? Is that the game I bought? Edge of Mel- uh, yeah, Edge, Edge of Maelstrom. Yeah. I think Maelstrom's it's, Edge. The Maelstrom's, Maelstrom's edge. edge. I'm also reading a book. I bought the box game of that, so I'm going to be looking at that soon. And I'm reading one of the novels that they bought. I've read that too. first novel of that. <gasps> it's I'm great. really enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, the moment there's a kid that's been found in his dad's workshop. That's right. That's right. And yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. That's as far as I've got. It's, it's, really uh, cool. it's quite um, an interesting take on the yeah. usual sci-fi. I'm, I'm watching really good. Three percent on net on Netflix, which is a Brazilian. Sort of um, sci-fi, sci-fi no. program. No, it's really good. It's really good. It's it's um, uh, very intriguing. Um, it's a bit like sort of as you said, a bit um, crystal maze in places. Maze. Uh, it's, it's a test to get through to this um, outland island where it's all nice and nice mm. and it's uh, it's all, all Brazilian, um, you know, dubbed sort of stuff. But it's really good. Back in the sound of that. It's yeah. really good. Really good. I am currently still fighting my way through uh, the box set of The Walking Dead. So I'm just in episode two oh, of season seven. Because I'm watching Z Nation. Right, okay. And I'm loving it. Zombies it's, are it's, doing it's, it's just, yeah. yeah. Have, have you watched The Walking Dead? I, I, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm not, not a fan. fan. Oh, really? I'm, I'm not a fan of the series, but... Um, we'll, we'll, I'm we'll, on season I'll, three, I think. I, I'd, I'd rather probably read the comic books than... Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, not, I've read a few of the comics, but, yeah. but I, I've got the game as well. So oh, of course. I've painted uh, what the figures from the... Box set, yeah. and I've got a few of the expansions. So oh, so that will be in the future. I had a couple of players agree to a, a werewolf game last night. My goodness! So a um, bit of, bit of um, world, of world of darkness, um, werewolf the apocalypse, classic world of darkness, not oh, new like one. Yeah. So you can change into a nine foot killing machine and rip right. people's heads off. <laughs> and you took me through Mars Attacks. Oh yes, Mars last Attacks. Week, so there's a battle attack. report nearly. Well, you did play, you did play that on Barrage. I did play that. I got my arms kicked. Barrage one year. I won't tell you what happened in this one, but I got. My ask. <laughs> Spoiler. It's brilliant. It's uh, 2D Dead Zone, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 2D Dead Zone. Which it's is great fun, uh, right? quite light, yeah. but uh, yeah. good fun. Great fun. Tippy when we get the giant stompy robots. Giant stompy robots. Uh, but on that note, I don't think. Yep. Uh, anybody, anything else? No, nothing. Any There's any, nothing no, else no, going on in the wisdom. Wargaming universe. Mm. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Don't eat yellow snow. There right? you go, we'll finish on that. Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks very much, anybody that watched Thank this. Much. Thanks very much, yes. and hopefully Goodbye. episode two will be uh, at some point. Soon.